Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this baby cardigan sweater. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make it. It's for baby boys and girls between nine and 12 months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from three to six months and up to four to five years old. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also in the information box I will leave the link to the matching baby blanket and I will also leave the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern okay let's get started but don't forget all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish and at the end of the tutorial I leave you the finished measurements also don't forget to subscribe share my tutorials and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is an e-hook or a number five. The yarn that I'm using is DK weight yarn. You can also use any number three yarn or eight ply. Now here to begin, I have 58 chains. This chain here is measuring approximately 13 inches, which is about 33 centimeters. Now, if your chain is off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, continue with the first row. Now the stitch multiple to this base chain is multiples of four plus two. Now to begin on the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, right here, make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop and close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain and make one more half double crochet. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to make half double crochets on each one of the chains. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 56 half double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now from here on, these two chains do not count as a stitch. They're just there so that when we finish the yoke, it's nice and straight. Now in this first row, what I'm going to do are three double crochets and into the next two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a double crochet. Into the next one, one double crochet, and into the next one, one double crochet. I have three double crochets. Now into this fourth half double crochet, make two double crochets. Again, make three double crochets. and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this second row. So continue, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. Here at the end, I finished by making these last four double crochets. Now at the end of this second row, you should have 69 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count. In this row, I'm going to make four double crochets and into the next two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four. Now on top of the next one, make two double crochets. Again, make four double crochets. One, two, three, four and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this third row. You're going to make four double crochets, then two, four, two, four, two, till the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Here at the end, I finished by making four double crochets. Now, at the end of this third row, I have 82 double crochets. Now, for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now, in this row, I'm going to make five double crochets and into the next two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one into the next. That's two, three, four, five double crochets and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row. You're going to make five double crochets, then two, five, two, five, two, until you come to the end. At the end of this row, you're going to have 95 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 95 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. 
Now, in this fifth row, we're going to make six double crochets, then two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets, and into the next two. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row. You're going to make six double crochets, then two, six, two, six, two, all the way to the end. At the end of this fifth row, you should have a total of 108 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. I finished the fifth row. I have a total of 108 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this sixth row, we're going to make seven double crochets, then two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this sixth row. You're going to make seven double crochets and two, seven, two, seven, two, to the end of this row. At the end of this sixth row, we're going to have 121 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 121 double crochets. Now for the seventh row, chain two and turn. Now in this seventh row, we're going to make eight double crochets and then two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets. And on top of the next, make two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this seventh row. You're going to make eight double crochets, then two, eight, two, eight, two, all the way to the end. At the end of this seventh row, you should have a total of 134 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. I still have two more double crochets here to finish this row. I had told you that we were going to have a total of 134 double crochets, but I need to add one more double crochet here before I finish this seventh row. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make two double crochets into this next double crochet and then finish with one double crochet here at the end. I'm going to do this increase so that when I do row eight, I have the number of stitches that I need because we're going to do something differently in the next row. So now, at the end of this seventh row, you should have 135 double crochets. So make sure that you make that increase at the end of this seventh row. So we no longer have 134, we have 135. Now, what I'm going to do next for row eight is I'm going to change color here. I'm going to use this blue yarn. It's DK weight yarn. So here what i'm going to do is i am going to let's see i'm going to undo this last double crochet here insert my hook through these two loops here and i'm going to grab a loop with the blue and the white so that i can join now the new color so grab a loop here with both colors and now with the blue yarn chain one and turn now, beginning on top of this first double crochet here, make a single crochet. Now, pull on the white yarn so that that stitch closes and leave it there because once I finish the next two rows, I'm going to continue with the white. So here, we're going to skip one double crochet and into the next, we're going to make a bean stitch. Now, to make the bean stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop. I have seven loops on the hook. Make sure that these loops are nice and loose so that when we close it here, just like this, it doesn't get caught in the loops. Now chain three and into this same stitch here, 
right next to the bean stitch, make a single crochet. Again, skip one double crochet and into the next, make another bean stitch. So yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, seven loops on the hook, close, chain three, single crochet into the same stitch. One more time, skip one double crochet and into the next, make a bean stitch. Seven loops, close, chain three, single crochet. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this eighth row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. This is where we did this row of bean stitches. I have a total of 66 bean stitches. Now here at the end, I'm going to skip one double crochet and on top of the last one here, I'm going to make a single crochet. And this is how I finished the eighth row. Now for the ninth row, we're going to chain one and turn. In this row, we're going to continue with the blue yarn. Now on top of this single crochet that I just did, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now, for the ninth row, we're going to go to the row below, which is the row in white. This is row seven. What I'm going to do here in this row below, this is row seven, is the following. I'm going to skip this first double crochet. These are the chains, so they don't count, so I'm going to skip this double crochet, and into this next one, I'm going to make two front post double crochets. This row, again, we're going to work into the seventh row so two front post double crochets now we have this first bean stitch what i'm going to do here is and this is optional if you have a hard time doing this you don't have to do that but it's easy i think you can manage what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert my hook through these two loops each one of the bean stitches on the back side you see the two uh, loops here so insert your hook through there and make a slip stitch now this slip stitch won't count. What I'm doing here is I'm joining the ninth row with the eighth row by doing this slip stitch. If I don't do that, then this part here is going to be raised and I really don't like that. So I'm trying to join both rows like this so that it's nice and flat. This one here is a little sweater that I'm going to do, but I'm going to knit that little sweater. So here we're going to continue so i did a slip stitch here now we're going to skip this double crochet and into the next make two front post double crochets now we have the next bean stitch insert your hook like this through the two loops that you see in the back make a slip stitch again yarn over skip this double crochet and into the next make two front post double crochets we have the next bean stitch insert your hook like this through the back of the bean stitch and make a slip stitch yarn over skip one double crochet and into the next two front post double crochets again the next bean stitch through the back of the bean stitch work a slip stitch and then skip one double crochet and into the next two front post double crochets we have the next bean stitch insert your hook like this through the back make a slip stitch and then skip one double crochet and into the next two front post double crochets we have the next bean stitch insert your hook like this make a slip stitch and then skip one double crochet and into the next make two front post double crochets now this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this ninth row remember that these front post double crochets are being worked in the seventh row so into the row in white and we're also grabbing a loop here of each one of the bean stitches so that both rows here are joined and that way when we do the next row this part here is nice and flat so that's what it looks like from the back and here's the front look how pretty that looks the front post double crochets are being worked in between the bean stitches see so right in the middle continue like this to the end of this ninth row and i'll meet you there I'm almost done with this ninth row. I just need to finish here at the end with a single crochet. Up to here, I have a total of 134 double crochets. 
these are the front post double crochets that we did in this ninth row and then i have a single crochet here at the beginning so i need to finish this row with a single crochet here at the end and i'm going to do this single crochet here on top of the eighth row in the eighth row when we started the row of bean stitches we did a single crochet here at the beginning so right there i'm going to insert my hook grab a loop with this blue yarn i've cut my yarn because now i'm going to continue with the white yarn so i'm going to attach the white yarn here and i'm going to do this by grabbing a loop and closing that single crochet and this is how we're going to finish this ninth row and like i said you should have a total of 136 stitches for this ninth row now what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the sleeves since the yoke is done let me give you the measurement it's measuring from here and up to here so the whole thing here it's measuring about 3.25 inches which is about nine centimeters and we have a total of 136 stitches all around so to divide the sleeves this is how you're going to place your stitch markers for each one of the front panels, you're going to have 20 and 20. For the sleeves, you're going to have 28 and 28. And for the back side, you're going to have 40. So here I'm going to show you how I counted my stitches because I want to make sure that you do not count the slip stitches. As you can see, you can clearly see a slip stitch right there. So do not do anything with that slip stitch. So how I counted mine is this way. I counted the first single crochet and then I went here where I have these two. So that's three, skipped one, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then right in the middle of these next two, that's 20. So from here to here, I have 20 stitches for the front panel and then I did the same thing for the sleeve here is one then I went into the next two that's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven and right in the middle of these two that's twenty eight so put a stitch marker right here in the middle of these two and this stitch here is number 28 so 28 stitches in between the stitch markers for the sleeve and then you do the same thing for the back side and so on so make sure you do not do anything with the slip stitches okay so here to begin this next row this is going to be row one we're going to start counting rows because we're going to divide the sleeves here what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain two and turn. Now to begin this first row on top of the first single crochet here, make a double crochet. Remember these two chains never count. Now on top of the next two double crochets, make a double crochet. On top of the next two, a double crochet and so on. You're going to continue like this up to the last double crochet for this front panel. Here into this last double crochet, we're going to make an increase. So continue like this. I will meet you right here. And remember, do not do anything into the slip stitches. They do not count. I have made 19 double crochets for this front panel. Remember the two chains don't count. So it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. I still have one more double crochet for this front panel. So into this 20th double crochet right here, make two double crochets, one and two. Now for this front panel, you should have 21 double crochets. To divide the first sleeve, chain three, skip 28 double crochets, and into the double crochet after the stitch marker, this one here, make two double crochets one and two now continue along and work these remaining double crochets for the back side here in the back side you should have a total of 42 double crochets because we're increasing one here at the beginning and we're going to increase one here at the end so i will meet you right here to show you how we're going to make that increase and then divide the second sleeve 
I finished making these double crochets for the back side, including the increase that I did here at the beginning. I have 40 double crochets up to here. Now I still have one last double crochet here, this one before the stitch marker. So into this last double crochet here, I'm going to make two double crochets. That's one and two. So now for the back side, you should have 42 double crochets. Now to divide the second sleeve, chain three skip these 28 double crochets and into the double crochet after the stitch marker this one here make two double crochets one and two now continue along and work these double crochets for this front panel here for this front panel you should have 21 double crochets just like we did here for this uh, side here continue finish this first row and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished making this first row. This is where we divided the sleeves. Now, each one of the front panels, you should have 21 and 21 double crochets. For the back side, you should have 42. So at the end of this first row, you should have 84 double crochets. Now, what I'm going to do next for row two is I'm going to change hook size. I'm going to use this four millimeter hook. If you're making this baby sweater smaller or bigger for any other size, using a different hook size, just go up half a hook size. So here to begin, this is going to be the second row. So for the second row, using this four millimeter hook, I'm going to chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet. Here I'm going to work one single crochet for each one of these 21 double crochets. So continue, I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work these chains under the first sleeve. I finished making these 21 single crochets for this front panel. Now right here under this sleeve, the same thing that I'm going to do here, you're going to do on the second sleeve. So for each one of the chains, you're going to make two single crochets. So into the first chain, make two single crochets. Into the second chain, two single crochets. And into the third chain, two single crochets. And that's all we're going to do here under the sleeves. So make sure that you do the same thing. You should have six single crochets here under the sleeve now. And now continue along the back side and make these 42 single crochets until you come to the second sleeve where you're going to do exactly the same thing. Two single crochets for each chain and then continue along and make these last 21 single crochets to finish this second row. I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did single crochets. Now, at the end of this second row, you should have 96 single crochets. And this is what the yoke looks like so far. Now, for each one of the front panels in this row, you should have same thing, 21 and 21. Under the sleeves, you should have six single crochets and six single crochets. And then for the back side, you should have 42. So that's a total of 96 single crochets for this second row. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now here we're going to begin our pattern, which is the same uh, bean stitch pattern here. This is a, a little sample that I did. That's what it looks like, so we're going to do this. I already have a baby blanket that I did using this exact same pattern here. Uh, I'll leave the link to the baby blanket down here in the information box. So here, to begin the third row, I'm going to skip this first single crochet and into the second single crochet right here, I'm going to make a bean stitch. So to make the bean stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop. I have seven loops on the hook, close, and now chain three. One, two, three. Now into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now I'm going to skip one, two, and into the third single crochet here, same thing, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, seven loops, close, chain three, single crochet. One more time, skip one, two, and into this third single crochet, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, 
grab a loop. Make sure that these yarn overs here are nice and loose so that when we close the bean stitch, it doesn't get caught in your loops. Now chain three, single crochet. One more time. Skip two single crochets and into the third, make another bean stitch. Seven loops, close, chain three, single crochet. This is all I'm going to do for the rest of this third row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we did this first row of bean stitches. I have a total of 32 bean stitches. Now here at the end, I still have one last single crochet. So to finish here, make a double crochet. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and we're going to turn. So here to begin, we have the first bean stitch to the side. We have the three chains, yarn over, grab a loop, grab a loop, grab a loop, seven loops close chain three, single crochet into the same space. Here's the first bean stitch for this row. Now again, right here into the next chain three space, make your next bean stitch. We have two, four, six, seven loops, close, chain three, single crochet. Again, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, seven loops, close, chain three. This is all you're going to do for the rest of this fourth row. At the end, you're also going to have 32 bean stitches. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 32 bean stitches. Remember, we always will have 32 bean stitches from here on. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're always going to finish with a double crochet here at the end into the second chain like this now to start each row from here on you're going to chain two and turn now for this fifth row you're going to repeat the same thing we did in the fourth row so you always start with chain two and turn so now into this first chain three space you're going to make your first bean stitch seven loops close chain three single crochet into the same space again yarn over and into the next chain three space your next bean stitch seven loops close three chains single crochet and again into the next chain three space another bean stitch and this is all we're going to do for the rest of this fifth row now, when you finish this row, you're going to do the same thing I just showed you here. When I finish this fourth row, you're going to go here on top of the second chain, make a double crochet, chain two, and then repeat the same thing. And that's all you're going to do. This is what it looks like so far. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows we're going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this part here. I have done a total of 17 bean stitch rows. So let's see, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Now, what we're going to do next for row 18 is the following. We're going to chain one and turn. Now I'm going to use the original hook size, the 3.5 millimeter hook. If you're using any other hook size to make this a little sweater smaller or bigger, just go down half a hook size. I know the body, we did it with a four millimeter hook, but you can also do this part here with a four millimeter. I just want this part here to be a bit smaller around the waist. So that's why I'm using this 3.5 millimeter hook. Here beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now inside each one of the chain three spaces here, make two half double crochets. In the middle of these two bean stitches, make a half double crochet. And then again into the chain three space of the next bean stitch, make two half double crochets. In the middle of these two, one half double crochet. And then again, two half double crochets into the chain three space. So one and then two, one, two, one, two, until you finish this 18th row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 18th row. I have a total of 97 half double crochets. 
here at the end I did my last half double crochet into the second chain here at the end now for row 19 we're going to chain one and turn beginning on top of the first half double crochet here of this row make a half double crochet now into the next half double crochet make a front post half double crochet and then back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and then a back post half double crochet this is how we're going to continue for this next row we're just going to alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet continue like this to the end of this row i'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this 19th row to finish this row we're going to go here on top of the last half double crochet and make a half double crochet and this is how I finished this 19th row with 97 half double crochets. Now for the next two, three rows, we're going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to do, I don't know, three rows here about that much. Um, continue watching. I'll let you know how many rows I'm going to do. But all you're going to do is just repeat the same thing we did here in this last row that we just finished. So here, chain one, turn beginning on top of the first half double crochet here, make a half double crochet and then do the same thing here. The next stitch here, make a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. Next one, front post double crochet and so on. This is all I'm going to do for the rest of this row. Then I'm going to repeat the same thing for two more rows. Continue watching. I'll let you know how many rows I'm going to do here. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the bottom of the sweater. I did a total of three rows of front post and back post half double crochets. And then I have the first row that I did of half double crochet. So in total, we have four rows here. Now, what we're going to do is single crochets here along this front panel. So to do this, I'm going to chain one here and I'm going to go into this half double crochet. This here is the last half double crochet that I did to finish row 21. So now into the next row, make a single crochet, and into the next row, a single crochet. I have three single crochets here. Then I have the row of half double crochets, make one there. And now here we have the rows that we did for the sweater now this next row here i have a double crochet at the end and then i have two chains double crochet two chains double crochet two chains along the front panel here so into the rows where we finished with a double crochet make one single crochet into the rows where we did two chains to start the row then make two single crochets so two one two one and so on continue like this all the way to the top i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these single crochets along this front panel i have a total of 46 single crochets now if you're off by two or four single crochets more or less it's okay the important thing is that when you do the other side you make the same number of single crochets on the other side and make sure that you finish here with an even number of single crochets now for the second row i'm going to change hook size i'm going to use a slightly bigger hook i'm going to use this four millimeter hook now the reason that i'm going to do this is because this stitch here it tends to shrink a bit and i don't want this part here to shrink so i'm going to use a slightly bigger hook if you're making your sweater using any other hook size just go up half a hook size from whichever hook size you're using so here to begin the second row we're going to chain two and turn now here we're going to skip this first single crochet and into the second one i'm going to make a single crochet chain one skip one single crochet and into the next single crochet chain one skip one and into the next single crochet chain one this is all i'm going to do so continue and i'll meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these single crochets for the second row i'm here at the bottom now up to here i have a total of 23 single crochets this last single crochet i have not closed it because what i'm going to do is i'm going to change color here i'm going to use this blue yarn if you're not changing color then you can just chain two and turn so here i'm going to grab a loop here using both colors and i'm going to close this last single crochet now with the blue yarn i'm going to chain two and turn 
Now, for this third row into each one of the chain one spaces, we're going to make a single crochet chain one. Single crochet chain one, single crochet chain one. That's all I'm going to do into each one of the chain one spaces of the previous row. So continue like this. I will meet you here at the top at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the top. This is the third row. I have my last single crochet chain one. Now to finish this row, go into the chain one space here at the beginning, or actually the chain two, and make your last single crochet. Now at the end of this third row, I have 23 single crochets as well. Now we're going to make one more row with this blue yarn, so chain two and turn. Now we're going to work our way down doing the same thing. Into the first chain one space, make a single crochet chain one, into the next single crochet chain one, and so on. Continue like this, finish this fourth row, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Here at the end, I have a total of 23 single crochets. I have not closed my last single crochet because now I'm going to switch back to the white yarn. So grab a loop like this with both colors and close that single crochet. Now with the white yarn, chain two and turn. Now we're going to work our way up for the fifth row. So same thing into this first chain one space right here make a single crochet chain one into the next single crochet chain one into the next single crochet chain one and so on now if you notice i have not added any buttonholes here for this side um, i'm not going to because the spaces in between the stitches here are big enough see like right here for you to put a buttonhole through. Um, I think like a 10, 11, or 12 millimeter button should work. I'll go ahead and let you know once I add my buttons how big my buttons are, but that is the reason why I'm not going to add buttonholes here on this side. So I'm just now going to continue and work these single crochet chain one to the top, and then we're going to work the neckline and then continue here on this side. I will meet you here at the end of this fifth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this fifth row. I have 23 single crochets. Now we're going to work single crochets along this front panel here. So I'm going to switch back to the 3.5 millimeter hook. So to do this, I'm going to chain one here and into this last single crochet space right here, make a single crochet into the next row, the, the row in blue, make a single crochet and then into the next row, the row in blue, another single crochet. Now we have the row of single crochets that we did in white, make a single crochet there. And now we're going to work single crochets along the neckline. Now make sure that these single crochets are done in the middle of the two stitches. So right here, so in the middle, not on top, but just go right in the middle like this. Now, if you notice that the neckline is a bit too wide, then what you can do is do some uh, single crochet two together and then it'll make the neckline a bit smaller i'm not going to do that i think it's fine so i'm just going to continue along the neckline like this making a single crochet in the middle of the two stitches here so continue like this i'll meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making these single crochets along the neckline. I have a total of 61 single crochets. Now, if you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay, just continue. Now, we're going to make single crochets along this second panel. Make sure that the same number of single crochets that you did here when we did the first row, uh, you have here as well. And we're going to continue with this row with the 3.5 millimeter hook. So here, to begin, I already have my last single crochet and then I did one chain. Now, now into this last single crochet here make a single crochet and then into the next row here make two then one two one two and so on here for this part you may need to adjust a little bit uh, since the spaces here are not too big but the important thing is that you finish with the same number of single crochets as you did here on this side so for me i had 46 so i'm going to try to make 46 single crochets so i will meet you here at the end of this first row 
Okay, I finished making these single crochets for this second front panel. I have 46 single crochets. Whatever number of single crochets you have, make sure that it's the same number of single crochets as you did on the other side, and make sure that it's an even number of single crochets. Now, for the second row, I'm going to use this four millimeter hook. So here we're going to chain two and turn. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. So for this second row, we're going to skip the first single crochet and into the second, I'm going to make a single crochet chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make a single crochet chain one, skip one and into the next single crochet chain one, and so on. You're going to continue like this for the second row. Now, once we finish the second row, we're going to change color here so that it looks exactly how we did it here. You're going to change color here at the top rather than the bottom because we started um, from the top down. So you're going to change color here, then you're going to work the third and then the fourth row with the blue yarn, in my case, or whatever yarn color you're using, and then we're going to finish with the fifth row in the same way as I did here with the white yarn. So let's continue, finish this side, and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to do the sleeves. Okay, I finished making this second front panel. That's what it looks like. I also went ahead and attached my buttons. My buttons here are tied. I just tie them and I just hit the ends on the inside. These buttons are 12 millimeters. You can also use 13 or 14 millimeter buttons. The spaces here in between the two rows here, the last two rows are the buttonholes, just like this. So that's what I'm using here as my buttonholes. So uh, you can do the same thing. I went ahead and added five buttons. See, one, two, three, four, five buttons. You can do three or you can do more. That would be up to you. Now, what we're going to do next is one of the sleeves. I went ahead and did this side already. So when you do this side, you're going to do it exactly in the same way as I'm going to show you here. So we're going to go right here. We're going to use this four millimeter hook. If you're making this sweater for any other size, just go up half a hook size. So here with the same yarn, we're going to grab a loop here. We're going to go right in the center, right there. Now grab a loop here. Now chain one. Now into this same space here, make a single crochet. Now make a single crochet between the next two stitches single crochet between the next two. I have three so far, right into this corner, that's four, and then right here where we have this double crochet, that's five, and into this space where we have these two double crochets, make a single crochet. So here I have six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six single crochets. Now for this sleeve, we have 28 double crochets that we left. So make sure that you do one single crochet for each one of these 28 uh, double crochets. There is a slip stitch right in the middle. Do not do anything in those slip stitches, only on the double crochet. So make sure that for the sleeve here all around you have 28. So we're going to do 28 for the sleeve, plus six here, and then we're going to do six here on this side so that we finish this first row with a total of 40 single crochets. Now continue like this all around this first row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end of the sleeve. Up to here, I have 28 single crochets. Now we have this next space. This space here has two double crochets here. So into this space, I'm going to make one single crochet. So between here and here, I need to make six single crochets, just like I did here at the beginning. So that's one. Then into this space where we have the double crochet, make another one that's two. Into this corner, that's three. Then four, five between the next two single crochets, and then six. 
So I did six single crochets here at the end and six single crochets here at the beginning. So 28 plus six plus six, that's 40 single crochets for this first row. Make sure you have 40 single crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this first row with 40 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the first single crochet. This is where we joined. And into the second single crochet right here, make a single crochet chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next single crochet chain one skip one single crochet and into the next single crochet chain one and so on this is how we're going to continue all around the sleeve just making a single crochet chain one and make sure you skip one single crochet continue like this for this second row and i'll meet you here at the end make sure that when you do these single crochet chain one they're nice and loose so that the sleeve here doesn't shrink uh, this stitch here tends to shrink a bit so make sure that it's nice and loose and that's why we're using this slightly bigger hook now continue and i'll meet you at the end of this second row okay i'm here at the end of this second row i have a total of 19 single crochets separated by one chain here's my last single crochet chain one i still have one last single crochet i'm going to skip this single crochet and i'm going to go directly into this chain two space and here i'm going to make a single crochet chain one from here on we're going to work this row in a continuous round we're not going to stop or anything to join at the end of every row we're just going to continue like this all around i'm going to show you here when i finish this third row that it easily transitions into the next row without having to stop. So I'm going to do this third row here. So into each one of the chain one spaces of the previous row, you just do a single crochet chain one. Here's my last chain one space um, from the second row. And here's where we did the first single crochet chain one in the third row. So now we just continue in a continuous round, just doing the same thing. Into each one of the chain one spaces, you do a single crochet chain one, and you do this all around until we have a total of 38 rows. Here I'm going to put a stitch marker where we have the two chains that we did on the second row right here let me see where's the bottom right here these are the two chains so put a stitch marker this is going to mark the second row so from here we're going to count until we have 38 rows and that's what it looks like so all you do all around is single crochet chain one and once it's done this is how it's going to look very pretty there's no seam or anything so continue make your 38 rows and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay i finished making 38 rows this is what it looks like now let me measure this for you so that you have an idea of what it measures let's see from under the sleeve here where we started up to the end of row 38 it's measuring about 19 centimeters which is about seven and a half inches now what we're going to do here is my last stitch is right here right under the sleeve so right about here i'm going to choose this last stitch here as my last one so i did single crochet chain one and now into this next chain one space here i am going to make a slip stitch and this is how i finish this row number 38. now for row 39 we're going to chain one here and into this same stitch here into this chain one space make a single crochet now into the next chain one space make two single crochets into the next make one single crochet into the next two into the next one and into the next chain one space make two single crochets this is how you're going to continue for this row number 39 you just make one single crochet then two one two one two all around until you come here to the end into this last chain one space that we did before we did the slip stitch continue i will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next 
I'm here at the end of this row 39. This is where we did single crochets all around. I have 30 single crochets up to here, this last chain one space. Now to finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this row here is done with a total of 30 single crochets. Now what we're going to do next is the cuff here, the sleeve. So we're going to do this here. We're going to do a total of, let's see, one, two, three, four rows of front post and back post half double crochets. So here to do this, I'm going to use this blue yarn. I forgot to mention that if you want to make your sleeve longer and um, have it fold like this, you can, you can just continue and make more rows. I'm going to finish my sleeve with my cuff here. So to do this, I'm going to insert my hook back again into the same stitch where we join with a slip stitch. So grab a loop here with blue. Now chain one. And now we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets into each one of these single crochets. Beginning into this first one here, make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet back post half double crochets front post half double crochet and so on this is all you're going to do for this first row front post and back post half double crochets i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this first row of front post and back post half double crochets. To finish this row, you're always going to go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the next three rows, we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to chain one and beginning here into this first half double crochet, make a front post half double crochet. The next one is a back post half double crochet, so make a back post half double crochet. The next one front post, next one back post, next one front post, and so on. Continue like this all around, just making front post and back post half double crochets. At the end of this second row, you're just going to join here by making a slip stitch on top of the first half double crochet, then chain one, and then repeat the same thing for the third and fourth row. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you the finished sleeve. Okay, I finished making these last four rows here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and the sleeve is all done. That's what it looks like. Here's the stitch. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing I did here for this sleeve. You're going to do it here on this side. It's done exactly in the same way. So make sure to do that. So the little cardigan sweater is done. That's what it looks like here are the little buttons now as i mentioned these little buttons here are 12 millimeters you can also use 13 or 14 millimeter size buttons and here's the yoke here's the back side and here's the bottom so the little sweater is all done. Now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline down to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 32 centimeters, which is about 12.5 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 22 centimeters, which is about 8.5 inches. Now from the top of the neckline down to the bottom here, it's measuring about 32.5 centimeters which is about 12.75 inches and here the waist just the top it's measuring about 27 centimeters which is about 10.5 inches so based on these measurements this little sweater here is for baby boys and girls between 9 and 12 months old you can also make it smaller or bigger i'd say from three to six months and up to four to five years old so be sure to check out the information box there i'll leave that information on how you can make it smaller or bigger to open the information box i always get this question you just click on the title of the video and the information box will open up now here's the little sweater to match the blanket that I showed you this one here I will also leave the link to this little uh, blanket there it's not little uh, to the blanket so I'll leave the link also in the information box okay so this was today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time